Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. We got some really cool news today. Um, first off, I want to talk about Ronnie Rap, and then we're going to go through a blog post here. So um, Ronnie Rap kind of is a new partner for Farming Simulator 25. It's a bail wrap. We've seen it before, but we have kind of a highlight video and we got some more information today about it. And that's not all we got. So if you're just like, well, I don't really care about bail wrap. We got a bunch of other really cool information that I think will be interesting to all of you. Um, probably on my thumbnail as well. Probably got you into that. So no way, we're going to get to that. Uh, first, I'm going to play a quick little video that's kind of the official partner Farming Simulator 25 video Ronnie Rap deal that highlights them, which, by the way, the Ronnie Rap people are absolutely amazing. They're super excited to be in the game and to be excited to be the first Bale Rap official brand in Farming Simulator ever, which is super cool. Huge accomplishment for them and for Farming Simulator and Giant Software. So super cool to have that. They had me and DJ out um, this summer to go take a look at some of what they did and get a factory tour. Um, there's videos on both DJ and my channel about that, which is super cool. So make sure you check those out. But yeah, let's go ahead and play the video. All right, so I think the video kind of speaks for itself in terms of everything. I don't think there's anything that really need to mention in there. We're going to talk more about it with what's in the actual blog post itself, um, which I'm probably just going to have a few screenshots pop up on your screen as we go. Or actually, I might be playing like the Riverbend Springs trailer that came out or the Hutan Pantai trailer I might rotate between those two um, as I'm just chatting with you guys because I want to talk about some of these screenshots very specifically. So we'll get to that. But let's go ahead and start off by reading the blog post here. All right, it says preview hand tools and bail wrap consumables. Yes, hand tools. Now, I don't think it's going to be crazy, crazy stuff, but we'll see. Um, again, I haven't actually read this yet. Usually I read it ahead of time, but I'm a little limited on time and I wanted to kind of surprise me and kind of do it live. So here we go. Two things you should know about. First, hand tools like the chainsaw become independent items in Farming Simulator 25. Second, you need to stock up on bail wrapping resources because they will run out. But let's check out what that means. Hand tools in sheds. Put away your tools. Turning tools into individual items means that you don't just buy them uh, to have them appear in your virtual hands when you press the appropriate button. They exist as items on the map, can be stored in tool sheds, and can be shared with your fellow farmers. Um, and then we do get some images of that, which we're going to talk about here soon. Select forestry machines can also hold your chainsaw when you go into the woods. Simply attach it by placing it in the highlighted spot. And that's what we have for hand tools, at least for now. Bill wrap resources. Consumers love them. Until now, you just bail like there's no tomorrow, did you? Don't worry, you still can, but bail wrapping now consumes foil or net wraps. With that, we introduced one of our new partners in Farming Simulator 25, Ronnie Plast, and their Ronnie Wrap series of stretch film for bail wrapping, available in various colors. Now it says, don't worry, you still can there in terms of you won't have to do this. So if you want to turn off this feature and not have to worry about bail wrapping, you can do that, which is super cool. I think that's awesome. They allow you to turn it on and off. It makes it more customizable. Then it goes on to say, in addition to Ronnie Wrap, there are multiple others of your favorite brands to choose from. Just pick your favorite wrapping film brand, if available, at the dealership. So you can choose some other brand wraps or brands of wrap as well if you want to, which is awesome that they have that kind of included. Um, so you can use other brands if you don't want to use Ronnie Wrap, but use Ronnie Wrap. Come on, it's cool. Use Ronnie Wrap. It's what all the cool kids are using. So, <laughs> uh, but anyhow, and that's what we have. It says uh, choose a pre order now, which, by the way, if you guys have not already, make sure you guys pre order this. Um, you can do that. Um, down below in the description, there's a link down there. Um, so that'll go ahead and help support the channel if you do that. But uh, I want to jump into some screenshots with you. Um, I have these kind of labeled in a very specific way. So hopefully I go through them in the correct order on your screen here. Uh, the first one here, we have uh, some square bales in the background. And then we have some different brands of uh, bale wrap kind of laid out here. So we have Lizard. Oh, actually, this is Twine. That's Twine. Never mind. I should say this is Twine here. We have Lizard Twine on the left-hand side. I actually don't think we get... Well, maybe we do in a second. But Lizard Twine on the left-hand side. And then we have John Deere Extra Twine Plus. Then we have Case IH uh, Twine there in the center. Then Kloss Twine. And then finally on the right-hand side, New Holland Twine, which looks similar to Case because they're the same company. So that all makes sense. Um, pretty cool to see that. Um, the next one here, we have some kind of like net wraps. So we have left-hand side, we have Massey Ferguson and Fent. And on the right-hand side, we have Kloss. Then it looks like John Deere. And then Lizard Bail Net in the background. So a few different types of bail net that you can use to wrap your bales and do that sort of thing and put them in net. And then we get a nice view of a truck with all this stuff loaded on. It's cool to see the kind of curtain side truck, which I'm assuming we're gonna get this in the game based on the fact that we're seeing it. 
Um, and I believe that truck at the very front is just the, is that an international? Is that the international? We've had it before though. It's nothing new or crazy up there. If we move on, we get a look at some of the stuff in the store. So first thing here is standard twine, 96 rolls. Now it doesn't have a cost or anything on there, so we don't get to see what the cost is. Uh, I'm assuming that 96 rolls is for all of these pallets because that's quite a few rolls. And I'm assuming you could buy just one pallet if you wanted to, but I could be wrong about that. That's the New Holland brand there. Next over, we have the case, same thing, 96 rolls, all labeled out there for you guys there. Move on from there, now we get into Ronnie Wrap. So here we have 120 rolls of Ronnie Wrap. I'm assuming, well, we can actually probably count the Ronnie Wrap ones. They go four deep and they're five wide, so it's 20 per pallet, or no, excuse me, 40 per pallet. So it's at 120 rolls, so that'd be three pallets. So there's, a, the back pallet is not there. There's not a back pallet. Anyhow, I don't know, this could be set up. So this is three pallets here. I don't know how they took the screenshots or how the store is gonna look and stuff like that. Uh, but if we move on here, we have the uh, Kloss. Uh, this is the Bale Twine, I believe. Yeah, Kloss, Kloss Bale Twine here. 96 rolls of it out there. Uh, move on from there. We have 120 rolls of a different color of Ronnie Wrap, which are different colors, and we'll take a look at that here soon. Uh, moving on from there, we have the John Deere Extra Twine Plus. We have 96 rolls of that in the store there. We move on from there. We have the Net Wrap. So we have 20 rolls of Fent Net Wrap, which that seems accurate for four pallets, five rolls to a pallet. So that does check out. We move on, we have 20 rolls of the Massey Ferguson Net Wrap Plus. So again, that also checks out in terms of numbers. We move forward one, well, here's where we get to kind of the hand tool stuff. This one is a forestry piece of equipment. Now, first I was looking at this, I was like, what's going on here? Um, it doesn't make sense on face value, but if you zoom in right to that little area here, that little um, uh, kind of highlighted area that's missing something, that's where you can put a chainsaw. And if I show you the next screenshot, boom, you will see a chainsaw in there. So that's what they're trying to show off there, which is super cool. Um, I was confused at first, but when I moved to the next screenshot, it explained everything. So pretty cool that you can put that in your forestry equipment. Next here, we have a look at a shed. So you can own multiple chainsaws, it looks like. So they have three chainsaws there on the left. Well, two on the left and then a little spot for another one. Um, the other cool is on the right-hand side, they have like a horse brush over there on, you know, on the end of that table. And then they have some spray paint cans, which we know the spray paint cans are coming. So it looks like the horse brush will be something you have to go collect to go ahead and brush your horses if you wanted to do that. Um, and if we look out in the very background, I was trying to see if there's horses out there. There are cows out there, but no horses. So anyhow, I'm assuming that's what that brush is for. If we move forward one, we get another look at that shed from a different angle, and we can see the open spot for a chainsaw and the other two chainsaws in that shed, which makes sense. And then if we move forward another one, we get the same kind of view of that. We have the horse brush on the left-hand side now as we're looking into the shed. There's also some hangers kind of on the back, so maybe we'll get like some yard tools and stuff, some other handheld tools. I know that handheld tools has been kind of a big thing you guys have requested, so hopefully we'll go ahead and get that here very soon. Um, if we move forward another one, we're kind of got a couple more screenshots of Ronnie Wrap. We have a few different types of Ronnie Wrap getting loaded up on there by a Manitou uh, forklift there, nothing crazy about that. Next up, we have this little pallet lifter lifting a, a thing of Ronnie Wrap there, which that pallet lifter was in I think it was added in the premium expansion, if I'm not mistaken, with the vegetable pallets and stuff like that. So cool to see that make a return to the game. And then next to close out, we have a few screenshots of Ronnie Wrap in different colors. This first one is showing you that the black rolls are, well, black rolls of Ronnie Wrap there. The next one shows you that, well, the green is the green. And then the final one is my favorite. This shows you all the different colors here. So we have a dark green on the right-hand side, then we have white, then light green, and then the very back, we have the black color in the back. So. Uh, pretty cool to see all the different colors out there and um, the different options you'll have available for Ronnie Wrap. But uh, with that, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.